What's up, YouTube? It's Mike again with Beer Me a Beer. I'm here with another beer review tonight. And uh, coming up next, uh, my girl, uh, girlfriend Christina, also known as Kay Wang, will be doing a uh, little review of a beverage that uh, she'll be trying for the first time tonight. So uh, be looking for that. It's not a beer, but it's liquor. So nonetheless. Um, also repping the Boston hat. That's right, go Red Sox. So uh, what I'm going to be reviewing tonight is Lagunitas Little Something Something. And um, this is an ale by Lagunitas Brewing Company out of uh, California. Uh, the bottle's pretty tight. And uh, yeah, I like the little uh, pinup girl on this one. I have a couple of pinups on me, so it's kind of cool. But either way... Um, Let's see here. The bottle has a lot, of, a lot more information on it than generally you find. Um, it says it's an unlimited release. It's kind of interesting. Um, let's see. It says it's got an IBU of 64.2. Uh, alcohol volume is 7.5%. Uh, and I'll just verify all that on uh, Beer Advocate. Um, and it's made of hops, malt, hops, hops, yeast, hops, water, and hops. Um, life is uncertain, don't sip. It's kind of interesting. So, not generally a fan of hoppy beers, but uh, I'm going to give this a go. Here's the uh, Lagunitas beer top. So, one more look, and we'll pop the top. All right. There we go, got a proper pint glass. And let's just go over what uh, Beer Advocate says before I pour this. Um, the Beer Advocate gives it a score of 93, which is exceptional. The Bros give it a 94, again exceptional. Um, it's an American Pale Wheat Ale, uh, which I didn't know it was a wheat ale. That should be interesting. Um, 7.50 ABV. It says to uh, serve it in a pint glass, mug, or uh, a half of icing glass. So... Um, I wonder if you should do like a Hefeweizen and kind of shake it a little bit at the end. Um, store it at 40 to 45, serve it 45 to 50. It's been sitting out a couple minutes. It's probably pretty close to that. And um, it says to pair it with Latin American foods, German, uh, cheeses, and salads, meats, poultry. So quite a bit of stuff. So uh, here it goes. So it pours very clear, as you can see. Um, it has got a very strong hoppy smell, definitely. Um, good carbonation. Uh, the head is not even a finger. Um, that's okay. Yeah, wow, that is really hoppy. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of, um, I don't remember the brewing company, I have to look that up, but it's um, a beer called Hop Slam. Uh, oh, Bell's. Bell's Brewery makes one called Hop Slam, and it's, I hate hoppy beers, and it's horrible, but um, here we go. Give it a try. Yep. It's very hoppy. Um, but it's kind of interesting, because it's hoppy but it has like a, a bit of a like a wheat beer flavor to it which is kind of kind of makes it nice um, it's definitely not one of my favorites the hops um, are very crisp and clean but hmm. it is um, a little sweet too like a malt um, beer um, it's good it's not bad um, I actually expected it to be a lot worse once I saw that it was fairly hoppy. Hmm. It's definitely one of those beers where you could drink, for me at least, I could drink one and be done. Um, I couldn't go back for a second. Uh, the lacing is, is, you know, what to be expected of a light beer like this, an ale. 
uh, nothing great. Um, smell is hoppy, but it does finish quite nice. And uh, so it's it's good for a hoppy beer, which I don't normally like. I'm actually going to give it one thumbs up. It's it's pretty good if you like hoppy beers, you like wheat beers. I say give it a try, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, but you can definitely taste that it does have a high alcohol content. Yeah, seven and a half. So you can definitely taste that. So um, again, it's Lagunitas little something something ale. Uh, pick it up and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers.